Guys, the Checkers here bringing you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about is the main base dead or is it not? Is the game uh, in good shape or is it in bad shape? Let's go ahead and dive on into it. Okay, so here, this is some, like, let's address this, let's, let's address this. So, the chicken has said this a few times, you know, on streams and stuff, like, oh, the main base is dead, nobody's playing it, uh, everyone is just playing warships. Now, I want to start off with saying, I love warship, warships, and I think that it is good enough to bring new people into the game, to keep old people playing, and between that and Mega Crab, uh, you know, it doesn't necessarily have a huge impact, in my opinion, if... The main base not even talking about operations like this stuff this stuff here um because this is like i wanted to talk about this because this is what feels like the old boom beach like this just it feels like archaic in a way like sure we have the tribes and that's great um but just the the map clearing and stuff like it's just i don't know so i want to talk about ways to improve this and i want to just i want to just talk about the main main base and playing the the game originally as was intended so um, the first we'll start off with um, addressing is the is the main base dead now in my opinion uh, it's not dead like I don't know like it, it would take a lot for the uh, for the for, like boom beach to actually die I don't know if it ever will well I mean I'm sure eventually but uh, not anytime soon anyways because it has there's so many people that play the game and if you look at the downloads like it's still doing okay it's still doing okay so for that reason I don't think there's any reason to, to freak out just yet, but at the same time, I do feel like it's getting pretty stale, and they could do some pretty simple things, like pretty simple things in my opinion, to fix it. Um, so let's talk about uh, let's talk about that a little bit. So um, to summarize, basically, it's not where it was, but I still think with warships and crab, there's enough people coming in, there's enough people playing still to. Um, you know, to have significant main base updates and have it be, uh, and have it, you know, kind of bring back that, uh, <clears throat> not the original amount of players, but like have it bring back like a healthy amount of players. I don't stick my finger up like that when I drink, it just doesn't work. It doesn't, uh, the tendon was cutting it so it doesn't, uh, bend down all the way, in case you're wondering. Um, so let's talk about some ways that they can uh, that they can improve the main base. Now, in my opinion, the biggest thing that they could do um, is make the main base impact uh, warships a little bit more. And I I've kind of mentioned this in a few other videos, but basically, all that I would want to see is like, <clears throat> say, here here's an interesting way to look at it. So say you clear your map, uh, you get some kind of bonus. Like, obviously you clear your map uh, for resources and for intel for your task force, right? Those are the two main reasons that people are clearing their map and you get power stones and, you know, that's basically how you get everything in the game, like playing the game. Um, what I think would be cool is if you got some sort of bonus that affected either your warships or your mega crab or things that people are like com more competitive about than just simply upgrading their base and simply playing in task forces. So something like that, here's an idea. Say you clear your base for the day, and then you get some sort of bonus uh, gunboat energy uh, or troop damage or troop health or defensive bonus on your warship space. And make it very like small. So say if people that don't have time to play the game um, and clear their map, but they still want to sign into warships and have a good time, um, make it so it's not like punishing for them, but you're still getting something out of it for the people that are putting a lot of time into the main base. Um, so something as simple as, you know, like a plus one to three percent uh, bonus just like that lasts for an hour or two just because you cleared your map uh, for the day. I think that would really go a long way for uh, the game. Let's try to take this war factor down uh, using all Zookas. And we will get a solo because, I mean, it's the chicken. That's how we roll. Um, but yeah, in, in my opinion... It, uh, I, something like that. And you could even, like, you could simply bring it over to the crab, too, and have the same thing happen there. Like, if you clear your map, um, you get a, a, a bonus, like, uh, two-day crab statue that grants you, like, a plus 2% uh, 
uh, troop damage and troop health bonus to all your troops if like not just for clearing your map but say um, like the events leading up to the to the week of crab if you uh, finish each one of those 100% then you get like a plus 2% trophy for the next crab uh, for troop damage and troop health something like that I think would be really cool and it would just keep people playing um, a lot and like you know you'd be engaging with your task force a lot more being like hey guys like I don't want to screw up this war factory like I'm about to do right now um, because I'm so close to getting this trophy, like, how did you guys take it down? You know, that kind of thing. I think, I, 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 I've always felt the little things like that would go the longest way. And sometimes they have, sometimes they haven't. Like, obviously, uh, not everything works uh, perfectly the way you want it to, but... Oh my god, dude, really? Come on now. Come on now, chicken, where are we going here? Why didn't I take out those mines? Why did I walk around the mines? That didn't make any sense. Uh, okay, let's go like this. And we'll go critters way over here. And shock up this way. Uh, we actually had quite a lot of Zookas left there. Hmm. Wanted the solo, but wasn't in the cards. That's okay. I kind of screwed up on the walk a little bit. But let me know what you guys would want to see down below in the uh, in the comment section. If you would want to see... Um, if you want to see something uh, like... On, like, do you think the chicken's on the right track, I guess is what I'm asking, with uh, having something in the main base that affects warships or mega crab or some of the bigger, like, bigger draw events that, that more people play? Do you think that would be uh, beneficial for the game or would it be kind of stupid? Uh, let, me know, let me know that in the comment section. One, two. Do, do, do. One, two. And we'll go three right up on the core. I still have brick. And we're going to have no gunboat energy left at all. So we're going to have to hopefully get a flash uh, kill on this. Hopefully none of the Zookas step out. If the Zookas step, yeah, we're screwed now. <laughs> uh, we might get one decent shot off. This is just going to be like a section of, of, of Zookas one-shotting and then getting roasted. But we got five attacks and more factory, so we're doing okay. Let's try to do it on... Um, where did my text go? Why is it not showing up now? I used to have text here. It says it's still there. Did I minimize it? No, that's not it. Uh, this one? There we go. And there we go. I don't know why that was minimized. Anyways. Um, but yeah, so that's basically what I think, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below in uh, in the comments. And uh, we'll have a chat. We'll have a chat. <clears throat> Alright, so we got to focus up a little bit here. Now, doing this with 70 GB is definitely not easy, but it's not that hard either. Um, okay. I always thought something that would be really cool, like some sort of bonus for playing the events. I was playing Clash of Clans, uh, yesterday and today, and, like, they have so many cool, like, uh, quests and, uh, you know, like, bonuses that you can get, like, the book of, of rules or whatever, and, like, the special potions for, like, build, upgrading stuff. Just bring some of that over. Like, you've already got all the, all the ideas, like, just bring some of it over to Boom Beach. Right? That's what I think, anyways. Boom! War Factor goes down. Back, back, back. So, I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know what you guys think in uh, in the comments. But uh, I think a few little things like that would really go a long way. Um, and I don't think that... Uh, I don't think the game is dead or anything, but I, I do think it's it's definitely been um, a steady like decline. Um, but the cool thing is they actually announced yesterday that um, uh, they're making the warship season a lot shorter, which is pretty cool. Um, so they said that they did listen to us, which they did. Everyone wanted a shorter uh, season, which is great. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see. I think it's going to make warships a lot more competitive having that shorter season. It's not going to be as grindy. Like, um, it, it just won't be as long and, and like uh, grueling uh, to to get the trophy, and um, you have to figure stuff out a little bit quicker. So I think it's I think it's a, a pretty good thing for all those reasons. Um, but yeah, I'm very interested to hear what you guys have to say. So let me know down below in the comments, and guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you in the next one. Guys, chicken is out. Back, back, back.